Is there, there an organized crime? That's most ridiculous. It's the news media again. Is there? I have no knowledge of it. Without the threat of violence, that the whole thing doesn't really work. It makes sense for something like the National Crime Syndicate to come up with a system like Murder Inc., where okay, if you're not going to follow the rules, or you're going to break the rules, or you're going to steal, you're going to have to answer to this. And it's nicknamed Murder Incorporated. You know, let me tell you something, uh, my friend. Let me tell you something. I had a big fight with Sonny over you today. Let me tell you something. Now listen to me carefully. I'm listening. Oh, uh, you're gonna listen. For what? Uh, Donnie, don't say for what. Well, what? You know, you, you say don't say for what. How do I, I mean, know? Right I don't right even know now. what you're talking about. For what's this guy want? What, I you know? What I tell you? To let somebody like Sammy the Bull Gravano off basically scot-free is, I mean, that's such a miscarriage of justice. Somebody who murdered 19 people. Bro, you gotta give me money today. Today, yeah. Come on, oh, man. Let me stop you. I'm not waiting after today. After today, my partner said he's gonna come and he's gonna break every limb in your body. And then to just wet your beak a little on what Mustache Chris and I are going to do in this new podcast, Organized Crime and Punishment, a history and crime podcast. You can listen on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, YouTube, and everywhere else you find podcasts. If you like what you hear, tell your friends about organized crime and punishment so that your friends can become friends of ours. Thanks for becoming friends of ours, guys. Forget about it. Yeah.